Well, good morning everyone. Last night I van life camped up in the mountains here in North Carolina and boy was it cold last night. I think it got down to like 21 degrees Fahrenheit, which I know for a lot of you guys isn't really all that cold, but for me, that's pretty freezing. Oh my gosh, I love you, Millie. I love you. I love you. But the main reason I'm up here in North Carolina right now is because I found out that there is an abandoned theme park sitting on top of one of these mountains here, and I am determined to find it here in this video. And <laughs> I don't really know what to expect, but I'm excited, and I think this is gonna be a really fun video, so make sure you guys stick around all the way till the end. It's gonna be a, <laughs> a wild ride. <laughs> Just kidding. Well, maybe, I don't know, we'll see. <laughs> but before we do any of that, I'm gonna take my morning a little slow today, have my cup of tea with this beautiful view, and uh, make some breakfast and chill in the van for a bit before we hit the road. What are you growing at? <laughs> I don't see anything. Go get them. Go. Go get them. Okay, not me. Don't get me. Go get them. <laughs> You know, a lot of you guys often ask me where I get my music for all of my videos. And one of my go-to sources for soundtracking my videos for YouTube and other projects outside of YouTube is Epidemic Sound, who happens to be today's video sponsor. Epidemic Sound is a fantastic tool for creators like myself who are looking for high quality background music and sound effects for their videos without having to worry about copyright strikes and takedowns on their videos. And believe it or not, every single song in this video is coming from Epidemic Sound's music library. They have 40,000 professionally produced music tracks to choose from and over 90,000 sound effects tracks with new tracks added every single week. And what I love most about Epidemic Sound is that they have a mobile app so if you're on a road trip like me and you've got a sick new video idea ruminating in your head, you can browse through their music catalog on the go for potential songs to use in your edit. You can browse by genres, moods, and themes, and you can even download music straight to your phone for a quick mobile edit. You can sign up with the personal plan at just $9.99 a month, which is great for creators like myself who post on platforms like YouTube, Facebook, Twitch, and even podcasts. But if you click my affiliate link in the description of this video, you'll get a seven day free trial where you can start plugging and playing with some of the music in your next video edit. So go give it a shot, grab that seven day free trial, and if you end up continuing your subscription, you'll be directly supporting me and my channel, which will be greatly appreciated. Thank you Epidemic Sound for sponsoring this video. Now I'm gonna continue my slow morning by doing my farm runs on RuneScape and then cleaning up the van a little bit before we hit the road. Okay, so the place that we're going today is Maggie Valley, North Carolina. So let's see how far that is from us right now. According to Google Maps, that is about an hour and 15 minutes away and it's about noon now, so we gotta hit the road.
so we're close by. We are officially in the town of Maggie Valley, which is a small town that sits up in the mountains here in North Carolina. And when I was doing my research on this abandoned theme park, I saw that it's generally located kind of close to a Shell gas station. So that's what I'm looking for right now. Okay, so here's the Shell gas station. So it should be nearby coming up soon. All right, I think this is it. So here we are at Ghost Town Village, which was the entryway to Ghost Town in the Sky, which is the now abandoned theme park that sits atop Buck Mountain at 4,650 feet in elevation. And back in the day when the park was open, the only way to get to the theme park at the top of the mountain was to take a chairlift from down here all the way up. And this park opened in 1961, and at the time it averaged about 500,000 people visiting the park per year, which made it one of North Carolina's most popular tourist attractions. So this here was the gift shop, looks like. It's fairly empty inside, as to be expected of an abandoned park. Oh, there's an opening on this door here. Oh, wow. It looks like they've started some recent renovations here, which is interesting. I wonder if there's plans to open this place back up. And all this stuff down here at the base of the mountain is really just a taste of what's at the top of the mountain. Because from what I saw online, it looks awesome up there. This place wasn't just a theme park sitting on top of a mountain. No, it resembled, looked like, and felt like a living and breathing town straight from the Wild West. There were old Western saloons, a jailhouse, and even on the main street, there were hourly gunfights happening in the town. There was live country music playing in the saloons, shops, great food, restaurants. There was a roller coaster, a merry-go-round, and even bumper cars, all sitting on top of a mountain with 360 degree views of the mountains around this place. But unfortunately, as time went on, rides began to break down. And in 2002, the chairlift that carried you to the top of the mountain got stuck with passengers on it for two hours long. And from there, the upkeep of the park just sort of dwindled over time. And people lost interest in this place, leaving it to close. And ever since then, this park has been completely abandoned. However, new owners have acquired the rights to the park almost every year it has a new owner. And they all try to resurrect this park, but they always run into roadblocks between funding, the rides not passing inspection, and it's just been really hard for this theme park to open back up again, leaving it now a literal ghost town on top of a mountain, which is kind of ironic. Okay, that came out of nowhere. So I stepped inside the van to get the drone ready to fly it up to the park. And then all of a sudden, it just started snowing like crazy, which was pretty unexpected, but honestly, it's kind of cozy. <laughs> but my plan was to get the drone out, fly it up to the top of the mountain, get some cool shots of the park. But now with all this snow and wind, I don't really think that's an option anymore. <laughs> 
Man, nothing is really going as planned in this video. But to be honest, that's kind of the pure essence of this lifestyle. No matter how much you plan for on, on adventures, nature and outside circumstances that you don't have control of will always have a different plan for you. And you kind of just have to go with the flow, which is something I've learned over the years of living out of my van. So even though I'm a little disappointed right now that I can't fly the drone up there, it is what it is. I'm used to it at this point. <laughs> and honestly, I'm just kind of enjoying this snow right now. This is pretty freaking cozy. myself some hot chocolate. Hi, Millie. You want your blanket? There you go. Now you're all cozied up, huh? With your ROG Ally pillow. Hold on, let me borrow this for a second, okay? This is what Millie's using as a pillow right now. An ROG Ally pillow. <laughs> Super cute. Sleep tight, girl. Love ya. I got a stick. Oh, no, wait, hold on. Go get it. <laughs> oh, freak. It is cold. <laughs> Man, I just cannot get over how beautiful that view is. The sun hitting the mountain, the snow reflecting the sun with the clouds and the blue sky. It's freaking gorgeous. But I'm freaking freezing, so I'm going back to the van. Woo, <sighs> buddy. All right, let's find a grocery store, get some food for the night, warm up a little bit, and find out where we're camping for the night.
So I'm driving around trying to find a spot to camp for the night. And I'm just so surprised by how much snow this place got. North Carolina doesn't really get snow like this, believe it or not. Really? You enjoying the snow? Yeah? <laughs> Man, I can't get over how beautiful this is. I love snow. I love it so much. I just wish I were a little more prepared. I don't have my snow attire packed in my van at all, so I'm out here wearing jeans. <laughs> Look at this. You ready? You ready? Ow, that's ice. <laughs> Ooh, what about this? <gasps> what about this? Go get it. <laughs> She's straight up just chomping on the ice. <laughs> so cute. It's cozy in here. It is so much warmer in here than it is outside. It's freaking great. Floors are all wet. I'm tracking snow in here. Clean it up with a towel. It's good to go. Hi, Millie. What you doing? You having fun? Playing in the snow? Having a nice snow day? I know I am. Alright, I think it's about time for dinner. I'm gonna make something simple tonight. I'm just gonna do some chicken with some broccoli and brown rice. Simple, nutritious, inexpensive, and delicious. Okay, so I wanna show you guys something. I have mastered the art of making the perfect, most juicy and flavorful chicken. And I'm gonna share it with you guys today. I'm gonna take one of these breasts and put it in the fridge, save for tomorrow night. And this other piece is pretty thick, so I'm gonna butterfly this, cut it right down the middle here. And I am just gonna season it with salt and pepper. That's all it needs. And now, I'm gonna place it on a hot pan and don't touch it. Leave it there, depending on the thickness of the chicken, leave it there for about five to six minutes, then flip it another five to six minutes, don't touch it. I promise every single time it comes out super juicy, super flavorful, and it's amazing. All right, it's been about six minutes. Once the chicken is sliding around in the pan like that, you know it's ready to be flipped. I'm just gonna flip it over. Don't touch it, leave it there. Six more minutes.
Okay, here's the meal for the night. We got some chicken with just salt and pepper, some broccoli with garlic salt, and some brown rice. Oh my goodness gracious. Let's give it a taste test. I don't know how to tell you guys how juicy it is, but it's juicy and so tasty. Just salt and pepper. And since it's a nice chilly night, I'm gonna treat me and Millie to dinner in bed with the movie. You wanna watch Saving Private Ryan? <gasps> yeah? Okay, let's do that. You wanna go outside? Come on. Oh man, sure is beautiful tonight. We got a pretty clear sky. The moon is out. You can see the stars pretty well. This is awesome. Oh, I love this. This is so nice. I would love to live in a winter climate like this all the time. It is just so cozy. Good girl, Millie. Good job. Good girl. And get under. <laughs> All right. We are cozied up and ready for bed, folks. So I think we're gonna call it a night. It's gonna get down to five degrees Fahrenheit. I have no idea what that is in Celsius, but that's really cold in Fahrenheit. That might be the coldest I've ever experienced. So this is gonna be a fun night, but we are nice and bundled up. I got my wool blanket that I bought in Mexico. Got my comforter, my fuzzy blanket, and my personal heater, Millie. <laughs> I think we're gonna be just fine. But uh, we're gonna hit the sack, and we'll see you guys in the morning. Good morning, everyone. It is currently five degrees today, Fahrenheit, which is the coldest I have ever been in. And despite it being so cold, Millie and I have kept pretty warm through the night. The insulation in this van freaking rocks. By the way, if you guys are interested in seeing a video about how I built out this van, uh, I'll leave a link to that in the description of this video or just go check it out on my channel, but it's pretty cool. Yep, all that's ice caked on my window. Man, that is frozen solid. <laughs> so that's the benefit of having your bed up high like I do. Created a little nook with my upper cabinets and this hanging closet here. And because of that, when the heat rises, it all collects in my bedding area and just sits in there throughout the night, which usually keeps Millie and I pretty warm. Oh, what a beautiful, beautiful morning. <laughs> Millie, come back this way. Come back this way, come here. 
Good girl. Man, what a successful night. As I said before, this is the coldest I've ever been in. I've never been in single digit temperature in my entire life until now. And to be honest, I don't know if I'm a different breed or what, but it's really not all that bad. <laughs> Millie, you stuck? <laughs> my mustache is already freezing up. That's freaking crazy. But I think that's it for today's video, folks. I'm gonna drive into town after this, get some work done, and go off to the next adventure. If you guys enjoyed this little adventure, let me know by liking, commenting, subscribing, and turning on all notifications so you don't miss out on any of my future uploads. And if you wanna see more van life adventure content like this that you won't find here on YouTube, I've got a ton of videos on my Patreon that you can subscribe to and get access to all of them. There's like, I think 30 videos now. So consider subscribing over there. By doing so, not only will you get access to new videos like that but you'll also be supporting me and millie's adventures which will be greatly appreciated but with that being said folks thank you guys for watching this video i'm gonna go get warm and i'll see you guys in the next video